And what it comes down to is a fundamental question for all the systems we build of who's allowed to create? Who's allowed to take something and put it in front of people, in front of the world? And are we setting those boundaries in the right place? Or is our fear about risk pushing us to feel like maybe we should be more cautious? And this is a real personal question for me because it made me confront the question of what if the problem is me? So I'd introduce myself. I said I'm Neil Dash from the internet. Um, what I actually am is I'm, I'm, I'm from a company called Glitch. I'm the CEO of Glitch. Um, but uh, a lot of you might know us better uh, with our old name, which was Fog Creek Software. Uh, we'd, uh, the team had created Stack Overflow, uh, co-created Stack Overflow, and created Trello and spun them out. And pretty much all of you, I'm sure, are familiar with a lot of the tools and the legacy and the history of the company. And those were big shoes to fill when I came in. And you know, one of the things I reckoned with was culture change. And this came up in a real specific way. We had uh, a great team member um, uh, who works with us, and she uh, oversees a lot around uh, culture and operations. And uh, one of the parts of that is recruiting. We're in the midst of you know, updating our recruiting, like I think everybody is, to be more inclusive and bring more people in. And we had a part of the process that was like a little survey, and we had to, um, there's a little business logic behind this. We had to build a little app uh, in order to gather the survey data around our recruiting process. And I had a conversation with her about, I wanted to change some of the copy. Simple change. I, was like, I don't think the language is right. And she's, great idea. She's like, we're going to make these updates and these changes. And you know, we have this larger goal that we're doing where I think by early next year, um, across our company, we're going to be uh, pretty balanced on gender uh, identities for pretty much everybody in the company. We are getting to 50-50 between men and people who are not men uh, across the organization. And we're pretty excited about that. But it takes a lot of work. And so, um, you know, we talked through how we're going to update this, this part of the, um, the app that, that people go into. And at the end of the conversation, I, I, I said to her, um, to my colleague, um, can you have one of the devs update that uh, and then push it to production so we can, you know, have those changes go live? And the tool that we run, that we built, that we renamed the company after called Glitch is a tool that lets anybody edit and update apps and share them. And she said, oh, I already did it. It's live. Like while we were talking, I just went in there and changed it and did it. That's what the tool enables. I hadn't thought of that as the CEO of the company that makes the products, that they would enable somebody to do that. And I hadn't thought about my own assumptions about who was allowed to ship something and who was allowed to put something out in the world and who had permission. And it was a revelation to me. It was a bit of an epiphany about the learning I had to do, about the way I had to change my own attitude, about something I profess to care about, coworker I have tremendous respect for, a tool that I obviously believe in, I bet my career on it, and yet I hadn't put the pieces together about what does it mean when we actually empower people to be able to put their work out in the world and we trust them. Now you have to build the right systems, right? You have to be able to roll back, you have to be able to do all the other things that are there. But to take somebody whose role or title or place in the org chart wasn't designated to have that permission before, and then to say, what if we live our values and how we build this system and how we build this technology, and we actually empower somebody to put something out there? And by the end of that conversation, something that was visible to the world had already been updated. 